M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Here we are with SDR Angel, and we are learning about ADS-B demodulator using the SDR Angel. So on the left, we've got Bristol Airport up, and we just did receive an aircraft here in this section here. When I clicked it, it took me to this window. So we did receive the ADS-B information. Now I'm brand new to this. So what I have noticed is if I hover over each of these windows just here in the middle, there are downloads that I can do. So I've just been hovering and just clicking the download and you can see they're downloading and it says they're Open Sky Network. This one says downloading airport database and so on. You go all the way along here, open display settings dialog. You've got this. I clicked that. Now normally you hover over display flight path for selected aircraft. Now I'm not getting the map here at the bottom. So someone tell me how do I get the map? I'm clicking down here. But nothing, ah, hang on. Did you see that? Something started happening then, uh, which is better than the other window I've got. So if I close this window, I think I've opened too many windows now, but these ones seem to have a map. Now I wonder if I can make that a lot bigger. If we go to my location, yeah, that's, that's way better. So we can move these windows like so. And I'll show you how I got these windows in the first place in a sec. I'm just fascinated by the whole thing. And this program can decode DMRD star fusion, for God's sake. Um, but you need to know how to do that. I don't know, I actually don't know how to do that, but I'm learning. Look at this here, we've got some frequencies here. The one we want is the A, ADSB, but if we want to listen to the tower, 133850, now I could try and bring that in. But um, let me just quickly show you what ADSB stands for, Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast. Okay, that's what it stands for. It's all about safety when it comes to it. Oh yeah, we're gonna be playing with SDR Play soon, and also my DJ Mini 3 Pro um, drone. So lots of exciting stuff here at Ham Tech. So let's, in a minute, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start from the beginning and show you how I even open these windows. I'm just fascinated by this, and I'm just wondering, because you can open multiple SDRs using this system, this this software, SDR, and you can see that I'm I'm learning with you as always, and I always say that, that my channel isn't you you're not you haven't got an expert teaching here. You've got Andreas sat in his shack learning while he's filming and enjoying it. So I'm just plugging another SDR into my PC. I've got a few here, and they're quite inexpensive. I highly recommend get one. RTO, SDR, they're about £30. eBay, Amazon. Uh, make sure you don't get a clone. So, I'm going to try and open a new window. So we're going to go Workspace, New. Now, I know it's all gone blank, but I think we, we haven't lost the other one. Then we're going to click here, and we'll see if we can select another... Yeah, it's not letting me select another dongle. I just click that little circle there like that on the right. And click OK. No, we, we want another dongle. So I'm not finding another dongle. So maybe we can't open two. So I'll try and get back my, the way on the left here. See this on the left? W, I think they're numbered. Workspace one, which is blank, and workspace two. So I could just try and open I can hear actually I can hear an aeroplane aer coming over now so here's something here look if we go back to flight I can actually could hear that aeroplane so it's probably that one and then we'll click here and see what it gives us see if it's the same plane 
Luckily, I get planes flying over me all the time. Once now, how can we check? Four oh six five three D. Does that anyone see that? I can see the E Z Y. It's definitely an easy jet plane. So I click. I just clicked on the photograph, and it comes up here. Plane spotters. So yeah, it's just fascinating, isn't it? And great fun. Let's just quickly click these two. You've got that one there and that one there. They're both EasyJet. And this is Flight Radar 24. We're just having fun learning, yeah? Anyway, um, let's stick with what we're doing. So you can see that the information is coming here. Now, I don't know whether I'm picking up the information via a frequency that I've set or via the internet. I literally don't know, uh, but it's still fun. So I'll close all the windows and, and just show you how we even got to this point. So I'll close all this down. And we're gonna go up the top, it says workspaces. We're gonna go remove empty. So we've started again from scratch. We've run the program. And to find it, just put into Google here, SDR Angel. It's a free program, open source. SDR Angel. You want it on Windows. Okay, so when you get the whole page, here it is here. Free download, link in the description. So much to look at. There's the dongle, the type dongle I'm using. But look, you can use modems, all kinds of stuff. You know, I mean, look at there. Explore the electromagnetic spectrum, and there's, there's the there's our videos on YouTube. Look at this one here, ABS. That's what we've just been doing. I need to watch that video, don't I? Really. Um, so fascinating. Anyway, let's just show you how I open a window. So normally it will be the full screen, like so. I'm gonna minimize it slightly. I don't want you to miss anything that I'm typing here. Um, so we go workspace new. This, you get this window. I know it's again plain and you're like, what now? Then you go underneath the word workspaces, you've got three, this little temperature type dial here. Click it and this is where you select your dongle. So my dongle's plugged in and there it is there, RTL SDR. So that's what's doing the radio work. I've got an antenna connected to that. Click OK. So that's your radio connected. OK, but we haven't told it what we want it to do. So you get these windows. The window here is, I believe, well, let's just start the, let's just put something in first. So I selected, where it says RTL SDR here, I selected to the left of it, a little plus, and then I've selected ADS demodulator, but look what else you can select. You know, you've got decoding of digital M17, you've got your normal FM, broadcast radio, AM, you know, airband, everything. So we're gonna click apply. And then I got this window here. Okay, apply and close. And then to make it start listening, now I put in, I think it was 162 frequency. Now I actually don't know what the frequency is for this. So I put in 162 uh, and then I just push play. There's a play here. The reason the maps all started coming, if I move this over, to move this over, you hit the space part, and to move this one over, yeah, you can click it anywhere. And you can change the shape of some of these, so that one seems to be changing. There's no, I can't hear any aeroplanes at the moment. So I just floated over all these items and just click download. You know, there, as you float over, download the latest open sky, download the airports, airspace, open display settings, yeah, that's the settings thing. Display flight path. We can make this map, I bet we can make this map a lot bigger if we want to. I'm trying to now. Yeah, opening it right up now. So it's not busy here flight wise. So my location is here. See where it says home? And um, this is where well, we clicked, that must be Bristol Airport, and that you've got the ATIS, the ground, the radar, 
the tower. I do pick up the tower. So before we close down, because it's quite late here in the UK, I'm just going to try and also add something and see if it will actually let me listen to Airband at the moment. So we're going to go Workspace, New. Then it won't let me choose second dongle which is a shame I don't wait well, probably would I just don't know how to see because at the moment it's only going to if you look here it's not going to use another dongle um, so that, you know, I just we'll do it anyway AM you've got one here that's called AM demodulator where is it there okay apply click close and then the problem is we haven't got an answer. We, it's not using my dongle. So I might have to actually shut down the other one. Anyway, you got a good feel for that. We can close these windows. And then we'll see if we can just get some aircraft and then we'll stop. So we're going to go workspace at the top, remove empty. I thought we were going to get rid of all of that. Remember, I'm new, so please don't mess with me saying you don't know what you're doing. Uh, new. Like so. I'm going to select my dongle, which is at the bottom there. Click OK. Bring this down. Just I just don't want you to not be able to see it. Like so. And then we'll get the click there. AM we're going to do this time. Demodulator. Apply, and then we're going to get the frequency in of uh, one. I think it was one three three eight fifty for the tower, which I normally can get. Like so, once you've got that, and there are other parameters here. There's a gain here as well, and you click play. So it's receiving now. Now, I find that you need to turn the squelch down here on the right. You've got this little tiny little wheel, it's quite small. It's a bit bigger now. Turn up there, turn that up. You're turn it, turning it backwards. Turn down the squelch. Should be hearing it on my audio here. Um, what else? Squelch here. Yeah, you can hear that now. Bandwidth there. can bring in the other thing. No, I don't think we can. There's something on screen then, wasn't there?
Okay, I think that's enough for now. More to learn soon. Bye for now. 7-3. Thanks for watching. Catch you on air. All the best.